The world of startups has been responsible for a revolution around the world, thanks to some phenomenal companies and solutions that had emerged in the recent years. Now, they are all part of our lives, and we can no longer imagine what it would be to live without them. In this scenario, great businesses like Waze, Uber, Airbnb, among others, have emerged. And in the same way, big names like Jack Dorsey, Mark Zuckerberg, Travis Kalanick, among others, appeared. In general, the association is made to American men who are the great majority of this market. However, contrary to this trend, Australian Melanie Perkins has created a solution that helps thousands of professionals around the world and has become a billionaire business that has doubled in value in recent months, the Canva. Melanie is considered the main mind behind the graphic image system that has owned the world and makes ordinary people produce graphic content just like the largest companies in the world, and without the need for specific training to do so. Melanie was born in Perth, Australia, daughter of a Malaysian engineer and an Australian teacher she started to undertake at the age of 14, when she decided to create and sell handkerchiefs. The small enterprise gave her the first lessons about sales and how to manage her own money. Years later, she entered the College of Communication, but at the same time, she decided to create her first formal business, together with her boyfriend Cliff Oberch. Then, at the age of 19, Melanie and Cliff created Fission Books, a system that made digital school yearbooks, which are extremely important pieces for schools, and gathered some data from the students. The business idea came from a combination of factors. First, Melanie learned over the years to work with programs and image editors, and during college she realized that some of her colleagues had difficulty creating simple covers and graphic arts for their academic work. Faced with this difficult, she realized that there were other students who had the same problem. Once the problem was diagnosed, she began to think about how to solve it. That way, she developed a simple system, where users could create graphic arts using images, photos and resources already stored on the platform. With the resources already available in the platform, it was just dragging each element to create its own art in an easy and intuitive way. That way, students could create their own artwork. From this idea came the plan to evolve into a formal business, where the solution offered would be the possibility that schools could use the tool to produce yearbooks with photos of the students. The big difference was that each school could produce in an easy, intuitive and cheap way, eliminating the use of professionals who did this kind of service for a high price. With an interesting and related low price for the production of each yearbook, the schools glimpse a scenario of enormous savings. And on the other hand, the startup was gaining scale as new schools joined the solution. Even if the unit price was low, the secret was in the addition of clients, which generate volume and from this, the revenue became more and more interesting. First, because more clients, greater was the invoicing. And second, because the startup costs were maintained almost fixed, as far as the solution was on the internet. And it was only necessary to increase the cost to cover the volume of access to the website, which represented a minimal cost when compared to the revenue generated. The solution started small and followed the classic methods of a startup. The first place of work was the dining room of Melanie's house. There, she and her boyfriend programmed the solution and spent the first months of work. The investment was also minimal, only with the cost of hosting the digital solution. First, a MVP was created, the minimum viable product. In other words, the company presented a basic product that could fulfill what it was promised, with the minimum possible resources. This way, the partners managed to attract and conquer their first clients and their initial income source. Then, with its own capital, several improvements were made to the product, which also allowed the conquest of new clients, and more capital for the company. With more capital, Fusion has created new resources, 
and could also hire more professionals to make the business better and bigger. Besides the exponential growth of the business, Melanie dropped out of college to devote herself 100% to the business. In this step-by-step, -step, the company managed to conquer several schools in Australia and then institutions in New Zealand and also in France. Currently, just over 12 years after its creation, the Fusion Book Solutions still exists, and it's the largest yearbook creation system in Australia. And it was the success of the startup that credited Melanie and Cliff to create their second startups, this time an even more promising proposal, and with a market that does not stop growing. The idea was to create a platform that any user could use to edit images and create their own graphic arts. And so, in 2013, the idea became the Canva. In practice, Canva is a platform that has most of the features of the main image editing programs like Photoshop and CorelDRAW, for example. In it, you can edit colors, make clippings, and all the basic package that is necessary to edit an image just like a professional. In this spirit, the Canva is a tool that makes it possible for any user to create graphic arts just like a professional easily and quickly. The platform offers a freemium system. This means that most of the features are free, and there are some features that are considered premium, such as special plans and arts that are paid for. That way, Canva is a mixed system of free and paid, which is known worldwide as the freemium model. Today, the platform is a huge success all over the world, but in the beginning, it wasn't quite like that. To bring the new business to life, Melanie and Cliff joined Camera Adams, a former Google employee and entrepreneur, and they outlined a plan to make the business a global solution. To obtain cash and capillary to reach users around the world, Melanie decided to seek investors in the cradle of startups, the Silicon Valley in the United States. There, Melanie lived for three months and presented her business idea to several possible investors. The presentation, known as The Pitch, was seen by more than 100 investors according to her, and in the first 100 times, the idea was summarily rejected. Until then, investors could not see value in the idea, and besides, they were afraid to do business with a company based in Australia, and without a single leader figure. Even so, Mellon established contacts and met relevant people within the world of startups during the trip. In addition, it was decided that she would be the main figure and CEO of the company. Back in Australia, the Canva reached 750,000 users in 2013, considered the first official year of the company, but the platform still required new capital contributions from the partners. In the following years, there was an even more relevant growth, mainly due to the launch of the company version of the solution, the Canva for Work. According to Perkins, it took three years to get the first investor for the idea, and so they got capital with an investor in Australia, and also with the Australian government, through a local incentive program. The contributions were around $3 million. Despite the investments, the first years were loss-making, but with a recurrent increase in the customer's base. Beside growth in clients, the company also got the attention of the famous Silicon Valley entrepreneur Guy Kawasaki, who started to act as the company's first market evangelist. In practice, he would be the company's main promoter worldwide. Years before, he became famous for being one of the responsibles for having popularized Apple's Macintosh. And since then, he is considered one of the most influential figures in the world. With Guy's help, the company had even more exponential growth and reached users all over the world, reaching the mark of more than 294,000 payers, making the first company profit at 2017. In the following year, the company finally got the support of three important Silicon Valley funds, such as Sequoia Capital Fund, which was the first big investor of Facebook. At that time, the company raised $40 million in this round. With its full-bodied box and worldwide success, the Canva has become one of the world's leading image edition solutions. 
with its desktop version and also its mobile version. One of the engines of this growth was the social networks, which became stage for several creations and arts made on the platform. Thanks to Canva, today small companies and entrepreneurs can create arts, illustrations and logos for free or spending a few dollars, without the help of a company or advertising agents. Transforming any user into a professional designer, Canva has revolutionized the graphic market worldwide and has become one of the tools most used by entrepreneurs and also by digital marketing and advertising agents. This success has led the company to receive new contributions in 2019, raising an additional 70 million US funds in the first half and other 85 million in the second half of this year. Thanks to its impact worldwide and the investment round, the Canva has become a company with billionaire appreciation. This achievement has made Melanie Perkins, now with 32 years old, one of the most influential figures in the world, according to the Forbes magazine, and also one of Australia's richest women. Beside dominate its market, Canva also acquired the photo and video banks Pixels and Pixabay and announced an international partnership with FedEx. With a structure set up for global success, the Canva reached its peak in early 2020, with a valuation of $2.5 billion, and the company's plans were geared towards even greater growth, aimed at the digitalization of business in the coming years. However, due to the recent problem of the invisible enemy, the new market dynamic has made companies around the world streamline their process and increase the investments in the digital market. Because of this situation, the number of access to the Canva has skyrocketed, and currently the platform is valued at $6 billion. The billionaire business continues to run directly from Australia, in an office in the city of Sydney. In addition, the company has offices in Manila, Philippines and Beijing, China. Because of all these achievements, Melanie Perkins is today one of the most important figures of entrepreneurship in the world and an example of overcoming persistence and female power in the world of entrepreneurship. And this is another success story that deserves to be told in our channel. We hope you like it and see you soon.